Welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario RPG uh, Legend of the Seven Stars. Um, in the last episode, we had to uh, rescue Princess Peach in the beginning of the first chapter, yes, and um, turns out a giant sword from the sky rained down upon the heavens, and it made Bowser's ca uh, keep completely unavailable, as I'll show you right now. So you can only get to Vista Hill. If we go to Vista Hill, all that's there is the sword dropped by the Smithy Gang, evidently. But, yeah, we can't go there anymore, so, um, we have to go inform the Chancellor of Mu Mushroom Kingdom, so we have to go through, yes, Mushroom Way. This is the first area filled with monsters, I guess, and well, let's see, let's fight one right now. As you can see, this is the basic Goomba, not really strong, just a simple punch attack takes them out. You can defend their attacks for no, no damage, so they're pretty basic. And that to take care of that battle, and, um... Yeah, pretty basic right now. You know, it's pretty simple. Oh, ran into another one. I didn't mean to run into that one, but okay. Oh, this time there are three of them. HP max. Sometimes when you defeat an enemy, it'll, dro it'll drop a flower, and the flowers have different effects. Like the one I just got was my HP got totally restored. There are some of them that I'll... See, I just got another one. There's one of them that allow you to uh, attack again or per feel unlucky. Which gives you more experience or more coins, depending on what you get. But that battle is done. There is a new enemy right there, but I don't feel like battling him. I feel like getting the coins, though. But I guess I have to, huh? Let's battle this one. What we have here are what we call Sky Troopers instead of Paratroopers or Paracoopas. And actually, the weakness of these are actually to jump on them like in any other Mario video game does more damage than anything and we get to do it go again yay 99 damage that's pretty phenomenal in this stage of the game all right we destroy them and gonna get some more coins and we see a toad there in trouble it's actually very important to help out whoever you can in this game and I'm about to show you why let's take care of these goombas ow you hit me for no damage whatsoever takes care of them. Phew! My life was flashing right before my eyes for a second there. Here's a little something in return. And he gives us a honey syrup, which increases our... which restores our flower points by, like, ten, I believe? Which is more important. Now, what you see here is a Goomba sending a flower. You want to jump on him, because he's going to help you get some items. You, f you get into a battle with him, of course. Pow, pow. Pretty basic still. It's just annoying. It just gets me free experience points. That's all I care about. And you jump onto the flower and you jump off whenever you feel like you can make it. You jumped off and you get a flower. What that flower does is it gives you an extra flower point and refills your flower points. Then you want to jump over here and you see <laughs> a toad being carried by a paratrooper. I feel like I should just stay under him and try and catch him. Hey, yo, jump down. Jump down. I got your back, dude. Got the team on my back, dude. Fine. If you really want me to kill him, I'll kill him. I want Mario to be a murderer. Fine. 102 damage. See, it's super effective against those. Ha, <laughs> Pokemon. Super effective. Boy, that was a close call. Here's a token of my appreciation. And he gives us a flower tab. Flower tabs and flower boxes are very important because what flower tabs do, we go to the menu... And flower tabs actually raises our flower points by one. So we, and it restores it. So it, now we have 12 out of 12 flower points, which is for our special attacks. Right here's over here. We watch out for the Goomba, and we get a mushroom, which restores our HP and FP. Uh, now this part's really tricky because we have Lukatos or Lakitus, and we have those spinies that jump out randomly. And here comes a boss battle. Hey, what are you looking at? My hammer and I don't like you. Well, I don't like you and your hammer. Mario, you better be careful. He's definitely got a mean streak. Ah, I see. Um, well, we gotta get to Mushroom Kingdom, so we gotta fight this guy. Now you got my hammer angry. You shouldn't have done that. I just walked forward, man. Don't you? Ah. And yes, our first boss battle against two of the hammer bros. What I find out to work best is the jump attacks. You want to try and block their attacks as much as possible because they actually have a mean set of uh, skills here. That was just their basic attack. I wonder if they'll actually do their attack. I already defeated one, as you see. 
So they're not that hard, it's just that some of their skills are kind of mean, like Valor Up increases their defense dramatically, so I'm just going to keep trying jumping them. I won't be able to do that much damage anymore. Ah, here's one of his attacks, Hammer Time. Launches a bunch of hammers. I blocked it for zero damage because I know the right time to do it, but sometimes getting the timing of that attack is incredibly hard. Like, it's harder than most video games out there. So we have no more FP. I would try to attack him, but that... That attack just ended up doing doing nothing, so I'm just gonna recover FP with a honey syrup. Block his attack for zero. And now we have tw N FP to jump on him more. And there we go, our first boss battle has been done. I had to use an item, but it, I think it was most important to do so. So Hammer Bros, not that difficult. And we get six experience points, six cards, and a flower jar. I'll show you what a flower jar does in a minute. And we get our first level up. This first level up is very crucial. It increases all of our stats depending on what, we, what we're good at. And you could choose to raise power by attack, HP, or if you want, magic attack and magic defense. For Mario in the first level up, I always choose HP because it's going to get a lot more brutal from here on in. Thanks, Mario. I was running so fast, I wasn't watching where I was going. Well, that's kind of stupid. What were you looking at? The ground while you were running forward at full speed? Mushroom Kingdom's just ahead. We're almost there, Mario. Yeah, we are. Hey, where'd this hammer come from? From the hammer, bro? Hmm. Hey, do you know what this is? It's a hammer. This is the hammer. This has the hammer bro's insignia on it. No one stands a chance when you womp them with this. Ah, I see. Oh, and we. You never know, it might come in handy. And we get our first equip item, the hammer. Let's get a move on. I'll see you in Mushroom Kingdom. And now he's running without looking again, but I'm going to show you how to do equip weapons. You go to the main menu, hit equip, and you equip Mario with the hammer, which, as you see, increases his attack points by 10. So it's going to be very important for us later on. So let's see, we go in here, we go, and now we're on our way to Mushroom Kingdom. So Mushroom Way wasn't that hard, it was just there to get a level up. So as you see, the Mushroom Kingdom is very nice. What we have here is we have an inn, which is, this is our inn, where we can store our HP and FP, and as you can see, it's indicated by that little star right there. And then we have our, as soon as I find it, where did it go? There it is, the item shop, which is symbolized by that mushroom icon. This is where you buy equipment and res restoration items. One of Frog Fuses' grandchildren was running errands in town today. I haven't seen him, though. Oh, you're here to shop? What are you looking for? As you can see, we could buy certain items I'll explain later. We have an, a piece of armor for uh, Mario. I'll do that. And I'll also buy... I can't afford the jump shoe, so I'll buy the antidote pin for now for Mario. Do, 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 do. And I go to equip. Go to armor. And it increases his defense by 6 as magic attack by 6. So that's very important in this type of the game. And an antidote pin increases ma defense and magic defense by 2. So that's also very important to have. But we have a lot to do in this here, Mushroom Kingdom, but I don't think we have enough time to do it. So I'm going to end the part right here. In the next part, we're going to go see the Chancellor of Mushroom Kingdom and see what this entire kingdom has in store for us. So until next time, uh, thank you for watching, and I'll um, see you in the next episode.